Hi, and welcome to yoga. My name is Joanne. Thanks for practicing with me today. We will get started in a comfortable seated posture. So if you need to sit up on a blanket or a pillow or a cushion, please grab one so that you can find ease and length in your spine. So everyone will be different and you wanna make sure that you elevate the hips enough so that you can sit comfortably with the spine elongated. So you might need a couple of pillows or a taller proper. You might even sit on a chair with your feet on the floor if you need. Okay, so we're gonna sit up, find length through the spine and then soften the shoulders away from your ears. Feeling a nice long line through the spine. We've got a natural curve through the spine, but we want to feel lengthened and we want to feel our pelvis is pretty neutral. So we don't want to tip the belly forward or round. We want to find that length and lift through the core. Feel that the chest is open, the shoulders are down the back. A little weight into your elbows. Palms can be down or up or one of each, whatever you like. And then retract your chin just slightly so that the head is floating directly above the spine. And let's close the eyes. Part the lips just slightly so that your jaw is nice and relaxed. Eyelids are heavy and soft. Brow is soft. Bring your attention internally so we can see how we're doing in this moment as we sit on our mats, getting comfortable. Taking stock of how we're doing physically and mentally. Begin to deepen the breath you might take this time at the beginning of practice to set an intention or dedication for your practice. Choosing just one thing to focus on. Maybe it's breath and alignment, breath or alignment, or maybe you want to dedicate your practice to someone or something or the planet. It's almost Earth Day. Breathing through the nose. Finding a sense of expansion on each inhale and maybe extending the breath just a little bit longer in a comfortable way, not forcing. And take a moment to notice the pause at the top of your inhale before it becomes the exhale. As you exhale through the nose, See if you can lengthen that exhale just a tiny bit comfortably. Draw the navel toward the spine. And then let the inhale automatically reinflate your belly. Finding a nice rhythm with your breath as you expand with each inhale. let go with each exhale. Notice if your breath is smooth or choppy. See if you can soften and round out any rough edges to the breath and the body. As we begin.
Just take a nice deep breath in together. Fill the lungs all the way to the top. And as we exhale, we'll bow the chin to the chest to stretch through the back of the neck. Keep the shoulders open. Begin to find a slight movement. So inhale as you open to one side and exhale as you come forward. See if you can make that motion and that movement smooth and easy. If anything is uncomfortable, don't do it. The number one rule for all movement practice, not just yoga. We're work in a painful situation. Exhaling, come forward, inhale as you open. It's nice to close the eyes and really feel into the movement. Notice if there's any edges you can soften. Good, and then we'll come down. Let's take it to the first side, inhale, open. And then make sure your sternum is lifted so your ear is over the shoulder. You're gonna take the opposite arm behind the back. Just resting it behind you to open the shoulder and chest. Finding the breath and then gently begin to rotate the head on the neck. So exhale as you gaze over your shoulder on toward the floor. Inhale as you look toward the sky. And exhaling down and inhaling up and using the breath to find new space, creating release anywhere you need it. Nice deep breaths. And I do encourage you to close the eyes as you do this. You can change the angle. Finding whatever you need in the posture as you move. Good. One more breath. Good. Bring your nose back to the center of the room. Drop the chin to the chest. Inhale. Take the head straight up, keeping the hand behind the small of the back. Inhale. The opposite arm stretches up. Deep breath in, and then we're gonna bend at the elbow to reach behind you. So make sure the neck stays tall. You're not bowing the head here, nice and lifted in the posture. Elbow points up. You don't have to connect the hands. If you can, that's fine, but don't worry about it. You can hold, just rest on the back or the shirt. Maybe you can't do that. You can use a strap here as well. Try not to let the ribs, I just caught myself doing that, come forward. So keep the core contained so you're not arching in the back. Nice deep breath into your shoulders, breathe in and out. As you breathe in next time, we're gonna release both hands away from you. So reach the top arm up and the bottom arm down, reach, reach, reach. Stretching, keep the shoulders soft and then exhale, take the hands back to a T position. Reach out long and lower the arms. Let's shrug the shoulders here, squeeze them up and down the back. Sit up nice and tall, breathe in, and exhale, drop the chin. Inhale to your second side, so stretching the other neck, other side of your neck, the other neck, I think we only have one, and then take that opposite arm again behind the small of the back. So we're switching sides, again, make sure you're contained in the core, opening through the neck and breathe. And then we'll begin to rotate the head on the neck. Again, you can close the eyes. Exhale as you look toward the floor. Inhale as you look toward the ceiling. Keep the breath moving and big. Keep the movement smooth. And changing as you need any angle of the head. Take 
another breath or two. One more time. Good, bring the nose back to the center. And then bring the head upright, keeping the hand behind the back. Inhale, the opposite arm stretches up. Deep breath in, bend at the elbow, just reach behind you. I'm nowhere close on the side to connecting, so I'm just resting my hand behind me. And I'm not dropping my head. The neck stays tall and long. Pelvis stays neutral here, breathe. Keep that elbow pulling up as best you can toward the sky. On your inhale, release the arms away from you, reach up and down at the same time, stretch, keep the shoulders soft. Good, exhale, come to a T position. Pull the arms out and lower down. Again, shrug the shoulders, squeeze up and down the back. Open the chest. Good, sit up tall. We're gonna inhale, reach up. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower the arms. Halfway again, back to our T position. I want you to soften the shoulders and pull the arms out away from you as much as you can. You're gonna flex the fingers toward the face. So pushing through the palms, exhale, pull the fingers down toward the floor, stretching the forearms the other way. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, pull the palms up, fingers toward you, exhale down. Good, a couple more, inhale up. Exhale down, the should, you should be feeling this through the arms, forearms especially, neck should be relaxed, shoulders are soft, good. One more inhale up and exhale down. Bring the arms flat, palms flat toward the floor, and then just rotate the shoulder, arms in the shoulder joint. So we're going to just pull the finger, thumb down and back. Inhale up and open, thumb comes behind you. Good. Keep breathing, just rotating in the shoulder socket, keeping the shoulders relaxed, the neck. Tall and loose. Just one more. And exhale. Good. Inhale, open. And lower the arms by the side. Shoulder shrug here. Squeeze up and down the back. Good. We're going to inhale. Sweep one arm up. Keep that shoulder soft again, walk the other hand out to the side and fold, stretching through the side body. Pull the ribs to the opposite corner. So you're pulling the ribs away as you reach up and over, keep the chest open. Neck is long and supported here. We're not dropping our head, breathe in. Good, and then as we exhale, we're gonna turn the torso toward the floor, pull through the elbow. I want you to feel this through the back of the shoulder and round in the upper back. So reach forward, sweep across, and inhale as you come up onto the other side. Again, pull the ribs to the opposite side as you reach over. And breathe into the muscles between the ribs. So this is great for the mid and upper back. Again, as you're ready, you're going to turn the torso toward the front and sweep across. Breathe as you move. Inhale. And then find a nice moving meditation with your breath. So I want you to go at your pace. I'm going to let you guys go on your own. Reach across, sweep, and up, and reach and sweep. Don't forget to coordinate with the breath if you can, breathing and opening, rounding the shoulders in the back as you come forward, lead with the elbow. Should feel really good. So let's do one more side to side, reach and sweep. Good. Inhale, take it up. Lower the arm by the side. Let's do one more thing. I'm just moving my pillow. I don't really need it, so I want to sit more on the floor. You can stay on your pillow or blanket or whatever you've got if you need it. Good. Inhale, reach up. 
and then exhale, float the arms back. We're gonna reach behind us now. Come onto your fingertips and then pull the chest open as you lift the chin toward the ceiling. So we're opening through the upper chest and shoulders are rolling back behind you. Just on the fingertips here, lift the sternum toward the front, breathe in. And out. Take one more breath in, lift through the chest. So we are arching in our back a little bit here. Neck is supported, shoulders back. Good. Walk your hands up and then walk your hands in front of you as you fold all the way toward the floor. So relax forward, keep the hips on the ground, and bow the whole forehead to the floor. Or you can use a prop or something under your head if you need here. And take some deep breaths. As you inhale, I want you to pull your spine back one vertebra at a time, lift up, reach back. Okay, let's shrug the shoulders here one more time, in, up, and then down. Good, let's come into a tabletop position onto all fours, the hands and the knees. We're gonna brighten the fingers on the mat. Knees are under hips and hands are under shoulders. You can always use fists if you need, if you have any wrist issues. And I want you, if your hands are on the floor, press the full surface of the hand, including the fingers into the floor so you're not jumping into the wrist. And engage your core navel towards spine, neck is long. Let's thread the needle from here. So activate all surfaces on the floor away from the mat. Take a breath in and out. Good, and then we're gonna inhale as we sweep one arm open to the sky, open the chest, and then exhale, thread the needle, come all the way down. Good, so make sure you come down and release the head and the ear to the floor. Inhale, sweep open. You can take this in a fluid motion if you wanna move, or you can stay static and release on the floor, up to you. Keep breathing, no matter what you're doing, nice and deep. Keeping the breath moving to keep the chi and the blood moving in the body so we can find new space and release. One more time. And exhale. We'll come back to all fours and switch sides. Make sure you set yourself up again, press away. As you're ready, inhale, sweep. Exhale, thread the needle. Moving with the breath as best you can. Nice and fluid with the breath and the movement. See if you can find a little more space with each rotation. Without forcing. One more time. And then we'll come back to our tabletop position. Back to all fours, press away. Let's take a couple cat cows from here. Inhale, drop the belly. I want you to think length before looking up. The length of the spine. Exhale, round, turn the tailbone and the head to the floor. Inhale, open, create space. Exhale, round, let go. Release anything you don't need. Inhale, open, and exhale, release. And one more time. And exhale. Coming back to a neutral spine and to tabletop. We're going to take our arms a little bit wide so we've got room to plant the chest between the hands. We're going to walk the knees behind our hips just an inch or two. And then we're going to bend at the elbow and lower our chest right between our hands. Coming down to awkward S pose. My hips are still lifted, arms are right by the side. Good. From here, release the legs to the floor. Tops of the feet down. And then inhale as you lift up for low cobra, 
pull the mat towards you as you lengthen the chest forward. Feet are glued. Breathe into the belly. No tension in the low back here. If you need to tilt the tailbone toward the heels, please do. Or don't come up as high. You don't want to power up through the arms here. We're using the back here. One more breath. Release down. So take your left cheek to the mat and then reach your left arm out to a T. My right hand is still next to my chest. And then I'm going to bend my right leg. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, I'm going to push into my right hand and open my body toward the extended arm. So whatever's comfortable, you don't have to come all the way back. Maybe the foot reaches behind you, opening the chest here. Big stretch for the chest and the shoulder. Find a nice breath here. Going only as far as is comfortable for you. You may not go far and that's fine. One more breath. Slowly lower your body back down. And then we'll switch sides. So bring that left arm in next to the chest. Extend the right arm, turn your right cheek to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, we'll bend at the left leg and then open toward the extended arm again. Find your breath. Notice if it's different on one side. Probably is. That's okay. One more breath. Oh yeah. I needed that one. Okay, hands <laughs> next to your chest here. Inhale, let's come back into a cobra again. Lengthen. Good. Bring the chest down and the chin down. Tuck your toes. We're gonna inch our knees up back to awkward S pose. So lift the glutes, knees come up. And then from here, to find a deep breath. Get some strength. Exhale, press the mat away from you. Reverse your push up from your knees back to all fours. Find a deep breath. And then slowly take your time as you peel your hips up for downward dog. We're going to pedal our feet, walk your dog out. So no rush here. Take your time. Starting to get into the leg roll. Relaxing your head, relax the chest between the arms, and let's slowly make our way all the way up to standing forward bend, however you like. You can walk, step, or hop if that's in your practice. Coming into forward fold. A little bit easy in the way here. Fold over the leg. So knees can be very bent here, hands are down, forehead tucks. We're going to inhale, halfway lift, open the chest. Bring your spine parallel to the mat. Exhale, fold. Legs can stay bent here. We're going to do that again. Inhale, halfway, open the chest. Thinking of grasshopper arms here, length through the spine. Neck is long. Exhale, bow. One more time. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, bow. Now I want you to let your legs, I mean, let your arms go, let your head be heavy, sway a little side to side, just release. Gentle side to side movement. Maybe side out through the mouth. And then find your footing and then we're gonna roll up. So tuck your tailbone, let the arms dangle, head is heavy. Unfurl yourself one vertebra at a time to the top of the mat. Open the chest, coming into your mountain pose. Then we'll move a little bit. So we're going to do a couple of sun salutes. So starting in your mountain pose, do your checklist. Make sure your spine is, your pelvis is neutral, arms by the side, chin parallel to the floor, crown of the head tall, quads engaged, knees are soft, feet are grounded, toes are soft. Reach the arms back behind you as you inhale, stretch through the chest, breathe in. 
Maybe touch the hands, maybe not. Exhale, we'll swan dive, lengthen through your spine as you fold all the way down to forward bend. Go to the top. Inhale, come up halfway lift. And exhale, bow. Roll up, let the arms dangle. Inhale, pull yourself up slow. Open the chest at the top. Check your neutral pelvis, reach back. Inhale, stretch up tall. Nice, exhale, bow, fold long. Inhale, come up halfway with your spine. Lengthen and exhale, bow. Good, keep your hands next to your feet now. We're gonna take a giant step back with our right leg. Coming into a lunge posture. So lower your hips, press with the heel. From here, drop your back knee and uncurl the toes. You can use a cushion or double up your mat here if you need for your knee. Don't do anything that hurts the knee and then rise up. Make sure your front heel is directly under the knee. You're nice and aligned. Pelvis is neutral here. Add the arms if you want, inhale up. Lifting through the chest. So we don't wanna dump into our back, we wanna lift up. Soften the shoulders. Good, from here, we're gonna take the hands to the chest, prayer pose. Nice, easy twist. Turn toward the front knee side. Shoulders stay above, around, above your hips and then just open the arms wide. Holding up a wall here. Breathe. Good, from here, inhale, sweep the arms up, come back to center. Maybe touch the hands and then exhale, open to the other side. So twisting open to the um, back leg side. Inhale, stretch up tall. Finding balance using your core as we twist on the spine. Exhale, open, twist to the front side again. Good, inhale up one more time. Exhale, open to the back leg side. Beautiful, inhale, stretch up tall. Exhale, float the hands to frame the foot. We're gonna tuck the back toes as we lift the knee. Lift both hips up and we'll step back to downward dog. That is heavy and relaxed. Shoulders open. Find a breath. From downward dog, we're gonna float into plank position. So here I want you to think about pulling up through the back of the body toward the ceiling. So we're kind of rippling up through, make a little wave with your body. And then stack your shoulders above the ribs. Find a breath, exhale, drop your knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale for low cobra, open the chest. Move the feet. Take a deep belly breath here. Releasing down. And tuck your toes. Let's inch up, let's come back up to um, awkward S pose. Inch the knees up. Breathe in deep. Exhale, push the mat away from you. Good, and then come up to downward dog. From here, we're gonna bend the knees and gaze forward. And then you're gonna bring your left leg up. So the other leg, no, I'm sorry. Get that backwards. Bring your right knee up. Start, we're doing the other side. So we're gonna drop the back knee, should be the left leg is down now if we're on the same side. I'm gonna double up my mat for my knee. You can use a blanket. Check that the knee is above the heel. And then when you're ready, come up. Keep the pelvis neutral. Add the arms, breathe in. Lift up. I want you to find like a scissor action toward the midline with the legs. So we're not sinking here like this. We're lifting up, getting a stretch in the back hip flexor, breathe in. Exhale, take your hands to your chest in prayer pose. Simple twist, turn toward the front knee sides, shoulders above the hips still, and then open the arms wide. Find your breath, hold up a wall, breathe in. We're gonna inhale through center, bring the arms up. Exhale, twist to the back leg side, open. 
Good, inhale, reach through center. Exhale, twist to the first side. Moving with your breath, inhale through center. Core is active here. Core stability, exhale, open to the back knee side. And inhale up. And exhale, twist one more time. Beautiful, inhale, stretch. And exhale, float the hands down. We'll frame that foot again. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. We're gonna rock off the back foot and step up to forward fold. Bow over your leg. Roll yourself up, inhale. Back to your mountain pose, open the chest. Good, nice neutral pelvis. Breathe in as you reach back, inhale up. Maybe hands touch, exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway open the chest. Exhale, bow. Inhale, giant step back with the right leg. Coming into that runner's lunge. We're gonna step the back foot up and plant it on an angle and rise up. Bringing our, our torso up, we're squaring the uh, hips toward the front of the mat, warrior one. So I want your back toes angled forward, heel to arch alignment, square the hips up. Try to keep your pelvis neutral so we're not here, but we're here. Lift the arms when you're ready. So engaging the outer edge of that back foot into the mat, sinking into the front knee while keeping the shoulders above the hips and the pelvis neutral, breathe in. Shoulders are soft. We're gonna exhale and pull the arms behind us and open the chest, cactus arms. You can straighten the front leg here. Inhale as you sink and reach back up. Feeling a nice stretch in that back calf. Soft shoulders, good. Inhale, open, straighten, and sink and reach. One more time, exhale, open the chest, and we'll inhale as we sink and reach. Soften the shoulders. Try to neutralize your pelvis, breathe in. We're gonna exhale, lower the arms by the side. We're gonna clasp the hands behind the back. So pay attention to which hand is on top. Pull the arms behind you. We're gonna straighten through the front leg and our hips and shoulders are square to the front of the mat. So the legs are mostly straight here. We wanna micro bend our knee joints. We're not locking anything. And square your shoulders up. We're gonna lift um, the sternum. So pull the hands down to create lift through the chest. Look up, breathe in. And then exhale, hinge at your hips. Keep your feet on the ground. Go only as far as you can um, comfortably when you feel that front hamstring fire up. So keep the legs soft. And then I want you to think about the hips staying square. This front hip bone, sitting bone is pulling toward the back of the mat. Chest is open. Nice long torso. Option, if you want to round down and forward, you can. Make sure the legs are soft, not locked. One more breath. Softening into that hamstring. So don't go to your very edge. I want you to be able to breathe in the pose. Use the arms to pull back. Inhale, lift up. Good, release the arms, shrug your shoulders here, and then bend the front knee. Good, we're gonna take the arms down to frame the foot, so floating down, send your back heel back, lift your hips, stepping back to a downward dog. Maybe pedal the feet. Again, we're gonna come into that plank position by Rolling up over a beach ball, lift the back of the body to the sky. Inhale, plank pose. Find a breath here. Exhale, drop knees, chest and chin. 
And then inhale, legs come down, open the chest, slide the elbows under the shoulders for sphinx pose, keep the arms wide. So your hips are on the ground, your feet are on the ground. We're gonna lift up out of the back. Drag the mat towards you a little bit and apart. So we wanna feel those actions. We wanna lift up. So the neck is long and loose. I'm looking out in front of me. You shouldn't have any discomfort in the low back at all. If you do come down, try tilting the tailbone toward the heels, elongate the lower spine. And the neck should be loose as well. One more breath. Think forward. Inhale. And then slowly bring the hands to the elbow position next to your chest. Drop your chin. Good, tuck your toes, inch your knees up. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, press the mat away from you. Breathe in. Exhale, downward dog. Good, take a breath here. Good, bending the knees, looking forward. Take your right foot all the way up. So switching sides again, we're gonna step the back foot up and plant it on an angle for warrior one, rising up. Same thing, other side. Think into the front leg, square the hips up, neutralize the pelvis, add the arms when you're ready, soften your shoulders. I find this a very difficult pose. It doesn't seem like it should be as difficult as some of the other ones, but it's hard to keep the posture and the pelvis as neutral as we can. Soften the shoulders, breathe here, deep breath in. We're gonna exhale as we open the arms into cactus arms and straighten the front leg, open the chest. Pull behind you a little bit. Inhale as you sink and reach. Lift up, soften the shoulders. Exhale, pull open, straighten. Moving the breath and the body together. Inhale, reach. And exhale, open. <laughs> Losing my balance a little bit. Good, sink and reach. And exhale, lower the arms down beside you. Straighten the front leg. Clasp the hands behind you. This time you're changing the other hand on top so it should feel awkward. And then check your stance. So if you need to adjust, feel free. Square the hips and the shoulders to the front of the mat. Even weight on the feet. Pull the hands down as you lift the sternum and look up. Breathe in. Exhale as you hinge at the hip and lengthen the spine. Over that front leg just until you feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. And then see if you can soften. Breathe. Pull that right hip back as you lengthen the heart forward. Find a connection with your breath. Ease and effort at the same time. Maybe you round forward, maybe you don't. Good, we're gonna pull the hands back and lift up, ground your feet. Good, release the arms. And then we're gonna frame the foot. Come down, one more flow, step back, downward dog. Pedal your feet out here. Good, inhale again, roll through the spine, all the way up to a plank pose. Rolling up. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale. Little cobra to start, slide into your sphinx, elbows under the shoulders. Hands parallel and wide, pull, lift up. Tailbone grounding, I'm sorry, tailbone toward the heels. Lift up out of the back, open the chest, breathe here. One more breath. Good, 
sit, slowly bring the hands next to the chest, drop the chin. And then we're going to push back into child's pose, sit back over the heels or head down. Bring the arms by the side, let the shoulders relax. You can use props under your thighs or your chest, anywhere you need. If this isn't comfortable for you, use your props. Awesome. Deep belly breath. Letting go. Good. Roll yourself up, sitting on your heels. I'm going to come toward the center of the mat to face you. So sitting on the heels, and then if you need to a prop candy, you can. You can use a strap. We're going to sit to one side. So bring your feet to one side and sit on the other side. And then you're going to cross one knee on top, one foot on top of the other knee, sorry. And then from here, you can extend the bottom leg out if you feel like you need to ground on both sitting bones. So I want you to feel even. If you don't feel even here, extend that leg out. And then we're going to hug the knee in toward the chest. I'm going to take the same arm as the leg that's on top behind my back. To, and roll that shoulder back to open the chest. Inhale, take that front arm, opposite arm up, inhale. Breathe in deep, soften the shoulder, and then exhale as you twist. So you wanna twist from the navel up, keep the hips grounded and stable. You can wrap the arm around the leg or you can bind the pose behind the back. I'm sorry, behind the el elbow behind the knee. Binding behind the back is something else, which I'm not doing these days, but you might. So looking back over your back shoulder, find length on your inhale and twist on your exhale. Take your time. Breathe in as you grow tall. Exhale as you gently twist. One more breath here. Wherever you are, slowly unwind yourself and walk your hands to the other side, gentle counter stretch. Breathe. Good. Come back to center. Let's stretch both legs out. Shake them out a little bit and then we'll take both legs to the other side, crossing one on top of the other, and then check that your sitting bones are evenly grounded. And if not, again, extend that bottom leg out so you can find both sitting bones. So you're not like here. Yeah, you're here. Or maybe you're here. Good. The same arm as the leg that's on top will come behind your back right next to your sacrum. Roll that shoulder back and open, chest is broad. Inhale, the opposite arm stretches up tall. Deep breath in, soften the shoulder. And then find the twist from the navel up. Keep the stable, the hips stable. Twist, twist, twist. And then find the arm position that works for you. So wrapping or elbow behind the knee. Maybe binding behind the back. Look over your back shoulder. Keep twisting with your head, neck, and eyes. Keep breathing. So as you inhale, find length. And as you exhale, twist. Hold deep breaths, even though we're constricted in our breath, this is also a great way to stimulate our internal organs with fresh oxygen and blood. So one more breath. Breathe in and unwind, release. Walk your hands to the other side, gentle counter stretch. And then come back to center. So I'm going to stretch my legs out. 
in front of me, lifting the flesh. <clears throat> Draw the toes toward the face. Press the thighs toward the floor. Sit up tall. Feeling the effort it takes to sit here. Hands come next to the hips. So let's inhale, sweep the arms up. One, breathe forward, fold. Soft shoulders, imagine you're hinging at the hip and laying your belly on your thigh, so you're not rounding, you're lengthening. Until you can't reach any further, just let the hands fall anywhere on the legs, they land. Inhale, grow tall on your spine. And exhale, soften. So maybe you have a strap here, maybe not. Maybe round your forehead toward the knee. Keep softening with each out breath. And then we're going to round up. Inhale, pull the back back. Use your spine one word at a time to inhale, rise up. Shrug your shoulders here at the top, open the chest. Good, keep the heels glued to the floor, bring the hands on top of your thighs and slowly uncurl yourself to the floor. Keep your heels glued down as you use your core strength to lower your body slowly, all the way to the back of the mat. But once you get to the floor, take a deep breath in and out. We're gonna bend our knees and place our feet Hip width apart. Hip width with the feet. Hands come down on the mat next to your hips. Maybe walk your fingers toward your heels. Make sure your neck is neutral on the floor. So if you need a prop under your head, please use one. You don't want your chin lifted. Good. So from here, imagine you can use a block between your knees here to keep the knees together toward the midline, I should say, hip width apart, but intention coming in so the knees don't splay out. So we keep that nice alignment for the knees. Palms down, back of the head on the floor. Gaze straight up, we're gonna inhale. Imagine pulling your knees to the front of the room. Inhale as you lift your hips up. And peel your back off the floor. Open the chest. So notice that the chest is coming to the chin. You're not dropping the chin to the chest. Back of the head is on the floor. Maintaining the natural curve in the back of the neck. Slowly come down, one vertebra at a time. Good, again, inhale, peel yourself up. Keep the knees parallel. Take a deep breath in at the top, lift your hips. Exhale, lower down. Good, we're gonna do one more bridge. So set yourself up. Imagine peeling or bringing your knees to the front of the mat. Inhale, peel up. Lift the hips. Maybe you bring the arms underneath you a little bit more this time, clasping, clasping the hands under the back if you want a little more lift in your bridge up to you keep the knees parallel lift deep breath in and out and slowly come back down take your time awesome good so from here we're going to cross one ankle on top of the thigh create a figure four and then reach the same leg that's on top, that same arm comes through the hole, connect behind the opposite thigh, soften that leg, flex your top foot. Pull everything towards your chest. And then just kind of swivel the hips around on the floor. So you're not lifting anything off the floor, you're just shimmying side to side on the floor. And then you can also use your Elbow to push your thigh away to change and deepen the stretch. Make sure the head is relaxed. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. Breathe into your hip. One 
One more breath. Good, releasing that unit toward the floor. And then keeping the legs crossed, you're gonna take your bottom foot out away from you a little bit. And then you're gonna pull the legs toward the top knee side. So the legs are still crossed and getting a stretch here in the psoas. Reach that opposite arm up and take a deep belly breath here. Feeling a deep stretch in that hip flexor on the opposite side to the leg. Release the top ankle from the thigh. Inhale, back up. And we'll switch sides. So cross the other leg on top, switching sides. Same arm as the leg on top comes through the hole to connect behind the thigh, relax the bottom foot, flex the top foot, pull toward the chest. Again, head, neck, and shoulders are relaxed. Maybe the elbow pushes that thigh away, maybe not. And then we just sort of shimmy a little bit side to side. Kind of a little push pull with the leg. Keep breathing. Once you find new space around that hip joint. Good. One more breath. Hey neighbors, release the unit toward the floor. Again, shimmy that foot out away from your hip a little bit and let both legs fall as a unit toward the top knee side. Opposite arm stretches up behind you. Deep belly breaths here for the psoas muscle. Shoulder is soft, brow is soft. Good releasing, bring the knees up. And then if there's anything else you need to round out your practice, please feel free to do that now. Otherwise we'll think about relaxing. So we're gonna bring, if you have any tension in the back at all, feet can stay on the floor, knees bent and toward the midline. You can use a towel or roll under your legs if you like, or just stretch the legs out, feet mat width apart. Let the legs just flop out to the sides, let go. Gently rock your head side to side, massage the back of your head. Make sure that the neck is nice and neutral. Allow the arms to open up on the floor beside you, palms up. Tuck the shoulders under your chest to open the heart center. Relax your fingers. Part your lips to relax your jaw. Soften your brow and your temples. Let the eyelids be heavy and closed. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. Just let go. Allow your body to completely relax and release into the floor. Relax your entire body completely. Relax, relax, relax. Allowing your body this time to assimilate all the postures that you took today. So, so important to give yourself this time to relax. Allowing the breath to freely through the body. Not forced, just relax.
slowly begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Maybe rocking the head a little side to side. And as you're ready, if the knees aren't bent, they bend the knees to place the feet on the floor and roll onto the right side of your body for a moment to a fetal posture. Just noticing any changes in body and mind. Recalling any intention or dedication you may have set for yourself today. As you're ready, using your left hand to push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. We'll need an easy pose. Sitting up nice and tall. And let's inhale and sweep the arms up together. Deep breath in as you gather some energy. Feel your hands at the top. And lower them down to your heart. And bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing yoga today. We'll bow to each other. Namaste.